Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. This is Amy Thompson from the Teresa and Amy Show. We are here today with Eva Malauer. She is from Bristol and like across the world from me right now. So this is very exciting. <laughs> Eva, I want you to introduce yourself. And also, there are some really big things that I know that you're up to. I've seen them online. I've seen some of your videos. And I just want to know who you are. Can you share that with our audience? Yeah, so I'm basically, um, practically speaking, a visual and performance artist, and generally very overly creative <laughs> in all sorts of ways. But my theme and my passion has always been, and literally when I look back, even in my childhood, all my life, it's been this consideration about what actually is life, what actually is there, who are we, what is separation what is oneness what is all of that and i came gradually into a process of exploring oneness as an embodied reality through spoken word and movement and that process is so powerful because you're not just wanting oneness you know you just presume it <laughs> And suddenly it happens. You know? It's true. It's true. Once you recognize that you're one, it's like the world opens up to you and you can connect with anyone and anything. There's nothing too big or too small. Things flow. There's, there's a beauty and a magic to it. What got you into exploring that in the first place? In the first place, gosh, yeah. Apart from that, I always had this urge to find out. I was a really big seeker, you know always and I was like I want to know I want to know and I was really intense <laughs> and at some point I met a spiritual teacher and I saw him in Dasha and he was called Adida Samraj and when I came back from that it was an incredible experience but when I came back from that I was suddenly walking through my kitchen and there was just no separation like everything like the the, the walls and the air and the the body and through the body and, and through the furniture, through everything flowed that conscious reality, you know, that was just unbelievably exquisite and full of love and with love. And that obviously was big, you yes. know, just you're like, wow, <laughs> you know. And um, from then on, I wanted to, to tell people. And as an artist, I always did it through art. And I went through many years of finding out how can I actually go there again and again and again. And, and it's always available. What do I need to do for it to become always available? You know, not just a one-off thing. And how can I show other people how to, how to go there? And, and I found going through the body is just magical, you know, because the body already knows what's true. It is already. It, it is like you know? we already do have the answers. Exactly They're within us. Yeah. And what you were just talking about is how do I show people? Like how do we teach people how to tune out all of the other stuff to tune into what's already there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. so great. It's so great. And describing it to somebody who's never had an experience like this, you did a beautiful job, by the way. I really want to share that. And also, I thought about people who've never had an experience like this. Like I, I know that I have, but I also think back to before I had. And what you were saying probably would have been like such a strange and unusual concept for me because I'm, mm. you know, floating in and being part of and and like vibrating and moving with all of the things like as if there's no separation. Mm. It sounds like a very foreign concept. So if you were to try to bridge the gap for somebody who's never had any kind of spiritual experience and they're totally living in the physical 3d like everything around me this is this is what exists right here it's all concrete i can see it feel it taste it touch it and that's it mm -hmm. what would you describe or give like as guidance to help them bridge that gap like for well, that, never is, had an experience. Mm, that is an amazing question i mean firstly i with every group I work with or every individual I ever worked with, there's different advice for different people, you know, so I don't give, I don't have a program, you know, I, I, I come into a space and I listen to what people tell me and then I just find ways, you know, for that particular person or for that particular group to, to meet 
meet in that place, you know, where that oneness begins to merge, even within a group, you know, as a as a experience. Um, but sometimes it's the people who never had any spiritual past or were seeking ever, you know, sometimes it is almost easier. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm not judging the other way, but, but it can be very easy for them, you know, to drop into a really in-depth experience because they don't necessarily have any ideas in the way. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing to compare it to. They say yeah. when you're hiring somebody, sometimes it's best to hire somebody who has no experience at all because they're <laughs> all brand new. So it's yeah. kind of a similar, similar yeah. process. So I would yeah. find a way to get them in touch with their body, you know, and what's true to them in there and what might be in the way. And then you might look at that and then you might see if there's a playful way to dissolve that, you know, and go beyond whatever might be in the way. Exactly. You're very empathic and very intuitive. Mm. So when you're talking about it, I'm getting that you sense the person that you're with or the group yeah. that you're with. And yeah. you can see what's missing that would allow them to just open up that space. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. Curious about something though. Yeah. How do you use your art in this process? Oh yeah. So um, the visual art. Mm -hmm. Any yeah. kind of art. Any kind of art. Well, I use dance, movement, you know, and spoken word poetry, and I find that very powerful because when you yourself go into that oneness place and you speak from that and you move from that, it, it draws people into that, you know, because they see a body being in it and then their body drops. Oh, you know. And it's really beautiful when you see people literally light up, you know, especially when he, when they haven't expected something like that. I know. And uh, connect with them. Yeah. Like the pure, authentic connection and it opens people right up. Yeah, I literally, I just, I, I can't do it without connecting. That's why I don't like Facebook Live because it doesn't give me someone there. You know, it's too, it's too limited in terms of just having people speaking back. And I, I like seeing people and I like feeling them and mm -hmm. see their body language and really perceive what, what, what I, you know, pick up. Do you um, know what I find amazing? Yeah. I find it amazing with how much people can actually connect through video. Like yeah. what we're doing right now, I have never actually met you in person. In mm. fact, this is our con like the first conversation we've ever actually had. Yeah. I've seen your videos and you've probably seen some of mine because you've connected with me. And now we're connecting with each other. It's just amazing because I can read your body language right now. I can feel your energy. I can see your presence. I can be with you. And yeah. You would not believe that across the world you'd have that ability, but we do. Yeah, because that's exactly what, what I've started doing. I started offering Zoom groups, and I will do one that is sort of really open to anyone who wants to try this out. Because I found um, meeting with people on Zoom is very, very powerful because you can feel that oneness space opening up, and you can feel that it doesn't matter if someone sits in New Zealand or someone <laughs> sits in the USA or someone sits in Denmark. It does, you know, it doesn't matter where people are. It is it, and that really makes it so evident that the whole space-time idea, you know, or separation through space-time, that that doesn't really mean an awful lot you know and it becomes so tangible and i have some friends now from across the world who i've worked with for several months who i feel so close to and so hard intimate with and i have never met them in person you know mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's powerful yeah really it is. and i love it And you said something important there about space and time and it's like when you realize that space and time are not actually constraints yeah you can do anything yeah exactly and I got and off topic there with your art. I want to go back to your art. <laughs> exactly. I was just realizing I haven't said anything about that yet. <laughs> okay, perfect. Well, you sent me a video the one day. Yeah. It had um, a song or a poem in the video. And you had several people from various communities in the video. And they were speaking parts of this, this poem. Now, is that something you wrote? Or is that something, like, is, is the entire compilation your brainchild or is that something else yeah the, the, I wrote the poem originally but when I wanted to make a video to it I was like nah I can't do this on my own this is too big for one person you know this poem <laughs> and I started to feel into it and then this 
this whole idea for this collaboration was born. I had this this lovely meeting with a beautiful spoken word artist in Bristol and we sat together and I was like, you know what? I want to just invite everyone to participate, absolutely everyone, you know, who wants to anywhere in the world. And it's just been so ecstatic so far, you know, it's been, I've had such touching encounters with people that participated and they tell me about how powerful it was for them, you know, to, to shoot the footage and to really go into the in-depth meaning of the words and embody them and, and feel them because the poem in itself is already an expression of embodied oneness, isn't it? Mm. It's a prayer for peace, but you know, one a lovely uh, woman who sent me photos yesterday, she said, um, uh, she said, you know, it's like affirmations. It's like, it's like, it's a prayer, it's an affirmation of the end result of the prayer, you know? I know a lot about affirmations. Yeah, no, and I was like, yeah, that's right. That it's already kind of presuming the end result, you know, and the power of that is it's quite, quite something. I feel it is. It is. The kids are just getting home from school right now. So oh, okay. Little, yeah, no activity behind me. <laughs> yeah. I know you're five hours ahead of me right now, but this is mm, perfect. Yeah. Yes. So mm. I want to know where that's gone. You said lots of people came in communities from all over and they got to share with you how it expanded them and how you connected with sharing the poetry and getting really like the meaning of everything. But since then, it sounds to me like you're creating a movement and you're bringing people together from all over the globe. And I want to know what stage is that at now and what do you envision for the future? What do you need? Like just share everything right now. Oh, thank you. That's a brilliant opportunity. <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah, firstly, the, the, the video of the poem, it was only a taster video. Yeah. So we are just going through the second wave of the expansion of the project because at some point um, it got picked up by Peace One Day and they put it through Coalitions for Peace. So they had, they gave me a deadline where they can send it to all sorts of peace organizations worldwide. So I extended the deadline and said, okay, we make this much bigger, you know? And so, so the first deadline ended up just being the taster. And now we're going through the next, um, you know, the next wave and I, I, I'm growing into the next. And I'm like, whoop. <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's so amazing. Like your timing connecting with me right now. Like we tried to connect before when Teresa and I were doing, shows yeah. before and then Teresa and I haven't actually been doing shows together for a while but we still talk quite often and uh and what's happening in my life right now is I'm working on people's video projects to bring wow. peace together um you know my website is happynow.online and I'm looking for contributors to be able to expand that vision because the people in our, our group we all get we are all one and so wow. group, they're, they're expanding, they've got beach cleanup and they, they're expanding their, um, their contributions to Mother Earth. They're expanding that into mm -hmm. different continents. Somebody else is teaching mm -hmm. listening so that we can hear each other from, from ears of really getting connected with people and being peace, love, and joy and contribution. And then someone else is listening for people's greatness and helping them to create videos to share with the world. So... And, wow. Yeah, and that, that's my, <laughs> my little core team. And it's just so beautiful what you're sharing right now. So I'm curious how we can help. Oh, amazing. Well, if you want to support that project, you know, you are uh, I'll, I'll be like so excited, you know. And this is exactly what I can see that starts to happen with this. It's like it's the way of being creative that is like it can expand infinitely. It's so open, you know, because I'm never imagining an end result. I go into every, if I film, I go into every filming session, what do you want to do first? You know, what is it? And just when some, when there's no ideas coming, I'll have some, you know, but I, I, I let people just bring to me what, what, what they want to bring, you know, and, and that openness creates that ripple effect, I feel, you know, and it could become all sorts of like a huge network of, organizations around oneness all kind of coming together you know in creative amazingness i mean I, I i can see this could like expand infinitely you know me too me too and what i hear from you is when people have an opportunity to just contribute what they want it's coming from authenticity and actual generosity instead of coming from oh i have to help you with something exactly exactly 
Mm. They're like, wow, I have an opportunity to really be myself and give part of myself to this. Yeah. And, and sometimes there was things, you know, in my toolbox where I, I was like, okay, this lady sang this and there's this and how is this all and, and coming together. And I, I would know, and then I would realize that a certain line of a, a song, a lady sent me a cappella, which was saying, um, I am a circle and I'm healing you fitted exactly to a shot. I did completely independently where I was spinning around in a circle Mm -hmm. And then landing on a sign saying one responsibility. I saw that and, in your video. You know, and it's that sort of thing where that sort of thing happens where you just feel you are allowing that greater intelligence, you know, to provide the, <laughs> to provide the, the, the process to, to bring in the ideas. And it's so, it is so unbelievably beautiful and exciting. I, I, I've never done anything more exciting in my life. I'm never going to do anything that's exciting again. <laughs> No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. But you're onto something. When you let infinite intelligence just open up the pieces and guide the way. Yeah. It takes out the worry and the stress. I caught myself today stressing out over not having time between, like I had several things today. Didn't have time between interviews. I didn't have time between meetings. I didn't have time mm -hmm. to do things. And I'm like, I haven't homeschooled my child yet today. And, you know, um, we, we've solved everything, but in the middle of things, I was stuck in my humanity. Mm -hmm. right? And then there was a point where I was like, wow, I totally just let go of ease and grace and trust. Like when you can trust, like have absolute trust that everything is exactly as it's meant to be and things are going to just open up. Mm -hmm. There's no emotions that get stuck in the way and you can go through anything and do anything with ease and joy mm -hmm. yeah oh and i mean when i opened that up you messaged me and said hey i'm running a little late and i was like oh he did and, and that probably wouldn't have happened if i didn't just let go and say i'm, I'm just going to let let everything guide me now so yeah mm. oh <laughs> What would you like to be acknowledged for? And so two things. We're going to go to the acknowledgement in a minute. But for people watching, I want to know how they can connect with you, mm -hmm. where to find your stuff. Are you open to posting videos? Can I share your video on YouTube? Like what, oh, what, is, it that you, what is it that you want for us to help you expand your reach? Okay. Well, I really, um, yeah, I really feel absolutely ready to, you know, one thing I, I need to say quickly is that when I studied performance art, I was never into this sort of career artist type thing, you know, and, and I was like, always like not quite gelling with that, you know, this whole sort of famous artist thing, I was like, oh, it's not really me, you know, but now, because now I really feel what what the message is that I want to give to the world, you know, that I want to be part of more like, you know, that I want to co-create. I'm so much more keen to get known, you know, because now I really feel like I know now what I want to get known for. I want to get known for supporting this hard co-creation process, you know, and people can reach me on my website, which is evamalawa.com. Okay. And it's, at the moment, transitioning, you know, there will be a community page very soon, which is in, in progress. They can connect with me on Zoom. I'm planning to do this almost weekly on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. UK time. So anyone who feels like, let's explore oneness, anyone in the world at the time who, who is free can join me. And I'm going to do that on donation basis because I want people to have the opportunity who may not have otherwise, you know. Yes. Yeah. And for anybody watching, 8 p.m. UK time would be 3 p.m. Eastern Standard, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, and noon Pacific. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just saying, if you guys want to be on that. Thank you. <laughs> this is um, what's great about starting to work with people all around the world is I'm starting to get when the time zones are. So, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, and I also have a Facebook page which is called "The Indivisible Beauty of the One Heart." The ind, sorry, the indivisible beauty of the one heart. Yeah, perfect. Good. Yeah, 
And anything else, Eva? Um, that's probably the most important point of reference at the moment. And Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually be downloading this video. I'm going to be cropping out the part in the beginning that, that I screwed up your name. <laughs> no, I, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. And I, yeah, it was totally botched for anybody watching. So, yeah, I'm going to cut that part out and put this on, on my YouTube channel as well as share it on the Teresa and Amy Show page. And I want to know, Eva, what you want to be acknowledged for. And I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. Um, what do you exactly mean by what do I want to be acknowledged for? Well, I think that we don't give ourselves enough credit for things. And so you said you're just stepping into this personal power that you have and stepping into recognizing who you are, your purpose. You're now mm. wanting to get out into the world. But there are so many things that you've done, so many things that have led you to now, so many things people see and haven't seen. So it's like, for you... What's there for you? Like, what do you really just want to recognize yourself for or have me recognize you for? Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you very much for asking this. I've just had this feedback quite recently from a friend who said, you're not very good at receiving. <laughs> and she said, like, you were wonderful. And I was like, oh, you know, it was just because of it, because of, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very normal to just pass off the great things people say. So yeah. Your chance to really, like, look um, at it and say, what do you want to be? Yeah, like, I would. I would like to be acknowledged for that the yeah that embodied understanding of oneness and that I can be in service you know to that to to people through that and that it is also it's not just an embodied understanding of oneness it's because what I find is very important, non-duality is very conceptual often, you know, and it's somewhere in the head and it's just this idea. But what I find and I've always found with anyone I've ever worked with is that when that embodies, it comes through the heart. Mm -hmm. It becomes a, a heart expression and it's, it's suddenly identical with love, you know. And I want to be acknowledged for that and I want to feel, you know, that people can, um, can approach me to, to serve them, to, to find that in themselves as themselves that is so beautiful yeah. like giving me goosebumps beautiful so eva i acknowledge you for discovering and stepping into your oneness seeing who you are is who we all are and being the person who brings that magic and beauty to the world and helps people see who they are and mm. that we're all connected you my dear are bringing peace on earth you mm. are bringing mm. dreams fulfilled mm. you are a shining star and definitely somebody who people can approach thank you so much thank You're you Is there anything you want to say before we say goodbye oh yeah can i finish with a couple of lines from the poem of course you can That's yeah different. yeah Oh, actually, I just, I just, it's just two, it's just one line, actually. It's the one that goes, as one you dance, as one, as one you dance, as one, as one. That's true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Lovely, lovely to meet you and to connect. Beautiful to meet you as well.